Hello everyone, <laughs> I'm Max McAllister and I am still making my way through this video series. Trying to, I'm probably going to try and do it all in one night on how I built an epic fire rock fireplace outdoors and a water ball feature without any instruction or guidance from the internet um, on how to actually plan it or do it other than using YouTube to help me find the basic videos on how to accomplish it. So <clears throat> on my water wall feature, which we're back to, we kind of bounce between fireplace and water wall as, as uh, construction uh, limits and requirements kind of prescribe. Now we're, what I wanted to accomplish with the water wall is, uh, so there's water feature and water wall. A lot of water features, the water pours out and just makes a big splashing puddle in the bottom of it and that's kind of thing. Water walls, the idea is that the water trickles down the wall and makes sound and is a kind of a pleasurable diversion for the owners of the water wall. Now, uh, so we were going for water wall. Now to do this, I wanted to have um, a very, very coarse stone on the wall and so I went to a tile store and researched this. And while this is called tile, it is a very, very heavy, thick, coarse cut, ragged, jagged stone. So each one of the pieces is kind of hard to figure out from the photo. But let's say this little tab over here is two inches. There was two feet. So that would be two feet and there'd be two inches of tab. So that's the way you had to do it. But each of these pieces was over 20 pounds. So to get it started, um, I had to place uh, cap blocks here and create a level line. This was very, very difficult, very, very frustrating. The reason I went to this trouble was I wanted to take this pond armor coating, which is waterproof, down below the water line. I wanted my stone attached to it, stonework attached to it. And I wanted to come back and once I cleaned this whole basin out, I wanted to apply the very last coat of what's called a pool plaster. I only found this through a company in Georgia um, that sells pool plaster. They were very helpful. I'll be able to supply their name down below in the comments section if you're interested. And um, that, that was where I found a lot of help. And they told me about pool plaster, which is for swimming pools. It's an extremely dense plaster, and that's what makes the, uh, the whole program watertight. And the guy that knew, ran that company knew, told me about how to seal the drain, which is a big deal. You had to leave a quarter inch get, uh, channel around your drain and in between the pond plaster, pool plaster, and then you filled that with a very special caulk that's available. Um, that I'll explain later. I can put the name again down in the comments. Special stuff. You gotta buy it. It's like $15 for a tube and you're only gonna use an inch of it. But that's what you gotta do so you seal your water feature. So <clears throat> this level here is where I stopped because I wanted to clean this all perfectly then lay in the pool plaster to make it as watertight and beautiful as possible. Then I needed to take, come back with pond armor, again, the pond armor like you see here, and coat the entire basin, and then take the stonework and go down. I didn't know how bad I had screwed up trying with that plan. That was a bitch, is all I can say. That was really really hard. So here we are progressing along. Now this there's a special adhesive. It's mortar isn't the right word, but this is special glue that they sell at the tile store. Um, 
that they'll explain to you that holds heavy tile like this to a wall. You have to check constantly level so that you make sure that your stones are working out and they're, they're not going to be screwed up. And then you have to cut and saw so that you have channels like for your spouts and where things are going to exit, right? So this is a big, big effort. So now here's um, the guys that uh, Tammy hired to help us complete the stonework on the floor of the patio. So now we're getting pretty far along, right? So when I got to this stage, I was looking at this and Tammy was out of town. And I was like, it just doesn't look right. And so I decided that we, needed a, that we needed a shelf here so that we could put stuff on it, you know, decorations and things. And then even when I saw the copper piece, I was like, that doesn't look right. I'm going to cover that. I'm going to glue stone over it. That was kind of my, my ultimate destination. By the way, what you see here is we're, we're originating the start of structures to support the super outrageously heavy stones that are going to line the arch of the fireplace called the keystone, right? And the arch stones that support the keystone. So this is what we're setting up. We're, we're trying to find a way to support the keystone because the keystone is very heavy. So it has to be secured, glued, dry, cure, all that has to hold up. So this is looking pretty, pretty good, right? Working on the back wall, stones going in. So you got to fit every piece. So you end up with these little like triangle here, a little piece here. You got to find, you, you're, it's like you're infinitely searching for puzzle pieces or cutting them or hammering them. It turns out the skilled laborers, the guys that run this stuff, that really know how to do it. They just use the, the four inch disc grinder and they whack it with a hammer, whack, thing pops exactly how they want. So here we are, we're approaching completion on the stonework on the ground. Now, <clears throat> the way I got the keystone and the other pieces to be absolutely secure was I used a piece of five inch, five eighths inch rebar dowel and I drilled into the fireplace and drilled into the stones and uh, then I used that crazy Sikaflex um, uh, super heavy duty and uh, structural construction adhesive to hold things together but here's what some of that might look like this is a, a Bosch hammer drill And you can see it barely, barely makes dust. That's a $85 drill bit in a $250 drill. And you better be ready to work. That's all I can say. So now one of the workers that was helping me, we were talking about putting a, uh, a, a stone sun above the fireplace. We wanted a sun and a moon over the water feature, um, kind of in a, a Buddhist or a yogic fashion. And um, so he was working on a sun, but he didn't get finished. But then I took the center of his sun and set it up on my shelf. And I was like very, very pleased with it. And, uh, and so what I had done in the meantime was glue stone to the copper face of the reverse spillway because I didn't want to see the copper because it was ugly to me. Uh, so then I just had a solid stone face. Now <clears throat> this is where artwork gets involved and uh, I'll talk about the artwork here in another video. So I'm going to stop this one. If you like these videos, please subscribe. My name's Max. Please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share with your friends.